Hey guys, welcome to Paul Blood and in this video we're going to create a swipe control in Unity. It's going to be pretty easy and first we're going to build the base script and then we're going to use this base script for creating the shape movements and rotations according to the directions in this player's swipe. So let's start it. So we are in a Unity project. As you look here, we already have a scene set up here, a small scene by using Kenny Asset Store. I give the link in the description. So let's focus on the swipe control. So first thing we're going to build a swipe control that's going to return the direction. Then we use this direction for in many purposes. You can use that direction for going sideward, going upward, for rotation, anything. So let's look on the base script first. So our base script is our swipe control. You can attach anywhere you want. But here let's first open up it in Visual Studio. Now it's open up. Now first thing you look up here, we're getting a first vector to touch pose. Then this touch pose is going to be uh, control over the how uh, position of the touch where the player touch first touch uh, was on the screen then we have a vec public vector to that's going to store the direction I make it public so we can access anywhere outside the screen that's the important you need to be public and in wide update we are going to take the input touch inputs so we're going to use our old input system method for this so first thing we need to create a condition here down here so first condition is going to be check whether the we going to first count uh, touch count is greater than zero. It means that if the player is going to touch, so touch count will always going to be greater than zero. Now if the touch count will be going to zero, so it means he has some touch on the screen. So then we're going to get that touch. So we're going to get the first touch by typing input dot get touch and giving the index of zero. Zero in programming zero always means the first and it's going to then we also need to store this touch so we're going to store this touch into the touch touch uh, uh, touch variables so then we're going to create two conditions now this two conditions going to check the phase of the touch so the first condition going to be check if the touch phase is begin just the begin the player just touch the uh, our screen so that's good then here we need to store the first position value of the touch so I'm going to store in two different values, store x and y. So if you look on screen, see your screen is a plane and is split in two coordinates, two axes, y and x. So it means we need to have some, have some coordinate on the x and y. So we're going to store it there. You can directly use float x equal to touch position or x. But here I am just rounding this value. The reason why I just rounding this value, I need to get up some perfect value, not in the decimal form. I need to get some kind of integer forms, complete round values. But if I tell you, it's really depends on you if you want round or not, rounded value or not. Because if you want some precious direction, you need to remove the round. But I know don't. I just need the value, return the value either in one minus one or one minus one or one something like that. So I'm not going. I'm going to round this value. So. It's really depend on you if you wanted to round this value or not. I really recommend you to check, also check out whether you round or not so for here we just round this value after rounding this value you get something like 400 or as like this value not a decimal points we're going to round both x and y value after rounding this value we just need to store this x and y value into the touch post that we have vector to so we're going to get to equal to new vector to x and y and that's all so here the, in this part we're going to save our first value of the input now we need to check whether the player has moved and if he moved in, in where he moves in which directions so we need to find out this so we first we check if the touch page is moved so move so then we're going to find the direction now in order to find direction we need we need to subtract two vectors now when you subtract, going to subtract two vectors you will get a direction so here yeah, look we are separating touch position the touch position by the touch pose now touch pose is generating giving the value uh, sorry if touch pose we're going to subtract we're going to get this uh, vector to direction here I'm showing the temporary variable and direction and also I'm normalizing this very value okay and I found really good after not, after looking at this I have really found good values that I want so I really recommend to hide and normalize after afterwards and also remember that touch pose uh, sorry, touch position is still giving you round value. Here we just round off this value, but we store that round value in the x value 
but here we then again we get the raw value that is the uh, in previous points so after we also need to round so this mean this value going to also be in decimals so we then also I need to round off this value so we then we need to store this direction we get the direction so basically we get the direction now we need to just store in in some variables so we created a variable vector to direction so direction will go into equal to new vector to we just get a new vector to and again here we rounding the value because i need where the value 1 or minus 1 a good a uh, complete round value but really depend it's really depend on you if you really want a round value or not it's really depend on your game and other so it's really, really depends on you so math of dot round you're going to math of the round round this direction dot x and x axis and going to save the y axis and also going to round off this after doing this all is everything you need to do everything just done and now we need to use we're going to use that direction for the actual movements so first thing let's uh, go back to unity and if i going to save uh, see one thing like so we need to first connect your phone with usb cables and install and download and install the unity remote from your where you can download it like app store play store where you want and after go to the uh, window and sorry edit and uh, edit and project settings after going to the go to the editor and choose device any android device Okay, it's really depend if you are using iPhone, so there will be some maybe iPhone option for you guys. But I have Android device, so I have, then I'm just going to uh, disable this and just open the Unity remote in my phone. I open the Unity remote in my phone. Now here it's a edit process setting editor, so we already do this. Now let's play this game. Before playing this game, just go to the game and just check. Select the go here, up here and select the remote. And here, see not connected. No, don't worry. After we play the game, you're already going to find out and connect so. Okay, now you get this uh, notepad. Okay, now next thing you need to do, just look on the here panel. This panel, and here, if I swipe up, this value go one and swipe down is going value minus one. Swipe right is going to one and swipe left side minus one. So here, we're getting the right value, but that what we want here. Now let's look here. I have very small zip, and that is going to retain the direction I'm using. So how can we do this? In so just now, let's look on this example. How with this zip is rotating the direction we are move, moving, so swiping the finger. So let's first pause, uh, stop the playing game. Now then, here we just go to the player movement script and look what where uh, what we are doing in this player movement script. Now in player movement script, first thing that we have here, we first uh, getting the axis of this swipe control. Now it's really depend how you can. I was doing the private, and also we accessing the rigid body for the movements. Okay, so then we by start, we are going to get this component by typing swipe control equal to get component swipe control. Now this will going to work when uh, both script are at the same game object like player move just uh, swipe control stack of top of the play movement so and then we have a rb rigid body this rigid body is accessing a uh, game of rigid body component now here down here we have a very simple function for the movement part now if you look here it's going to move the uh, it's going to move the our player our shape in the direction we uh, want so it's going to uh, move the direction in which the direction we swipe like as you see in the small example right now so first thing we are going to have four condition here so if the swipe direction is equal to one if the, it mean we swipe up so like up so this mean it's going to just rotate uh, 90 or not now so if swipe is all direction so it mean if direction dot x going to one we swipe uh, right side so we need to do what we would down then we write the code they are going to do whatever you want to do at the right side then if we uh, if direction is going to minus 1 we swipe left side so just side the thing they are going to be in the left part and then here we have a up so we swipe up so we are going to be do the up part so and so if we value of the y axis got minus 1 we are going bottom 
a bottom so here i'm just changing the rotation depending on the what side so if so I right side we are going to put 90 degree and if I left side going to create rotate minus 90 and up 0 and down when you copy it 180 degree and this very simple script here to be just getting controlling what value we are getting and according to that value we are just applying the uh, our rotation you can do whatever you want you have if you have hyper casual games if you have really have any running a game infinite running game so you can if get the those ex, uh, by using that directions you can easily add your game so if you again play this game and we have pretty nice game in my phone going up so I swipe according to it and just uh, working right correctly and so I hope you guys enjoy this video and learn from something like this so that's for all this video thanks for watching